Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I've been trying to go live, so I'm just going to put this up really quick so you'll know what I was talking about. Look at the bananas. This is a nest. There are two babies in there. I'm hoping, let's see if you can see them. See the two baby hummingbirds? Well, to make a long story short, and I'll do a longer video later. Hopefully, it, you know, they'll live. We'll, we'll see. These are... The rebar that Gary makes, he bends them, and from this, he lets his ubes grow. It's a type of yam, and they grow out of these containers. They grow on the ground, and they come up, and they wind around. Well, he's been slowly removing, see the, back there, all the, the, well, the leaves and the vines. The plants are gone until the weather warms up, and then they'll regrow, and they'll cover the whole top here in this garden. It's really cool. So a lot of it's been falling from the wind, some of it he pulled down, and lo and behold, this little hummingbird, not sure if it's the same one that had two nests in the banana trees, banana plants, I should say, in the bananas last year, but she came back and a hummingbird now built this nest. Well, all of it was good. We came down here and I did a garden tour, I think, believe it was April 1st, and I did one in my garden, which is up on the top, and then I hiked down and I finished in Gary's garden. Isn't it beautiful here? So I came down here and finished, and that was April 1st. So you got to see them when they first hatched. So now you you can calculate how old they are. Today's the 10th. They're 10 days old. Look at them. They're tiny. They're like that size when they're born. They're really, really tiny. So all was good. And then on the 6th, I believe it was April 6th, we came down and we did the video. You probably remember we did the video in Gary's yard but outside on the ladder how to grow on a ladder he made this one the week before and then he's got one that we're now growing on a ladder you can make a raised bed all was good i was down here took a peek at the babies and i'll tell you i told him when i saw this it will never last the two weeks that they need because this is not going to be hanging for two weeks with our it was hot heat wave and wind we've had a lot of wind so after the video, I came back because I wanted to do a couple clips. Thank goodness I thought about it, came back, and lo and behold, I look inside, and there's only one baby. Yep. So I moved all the sweet potatoes. This is sweet potatoes and nasturtium. I moved it all out. I was by myself. I didn't want to leave and call Gary for help. I figured I better do this. And I dug and dug, and sure enough, I saw the baby when he opened his mouth. So what I did was I picked him up, he was ice cold, and I put this bucket here for fear that if he falls out again, if I put him back, he'll fall at least into a bucket. But the point was, it wasn't just the bucket, and it wasn't just the baby going back in the nest, which I put back. This nest was hanging sideways because all this was falling down. I wrapped the nest with tulle. I ran over and Gary's got a tote that he keeps, that reddish tote. And he keeps tools and different things that he may need. And so I found a piece of tool. That's all he had was this one piece of tool. I wrapped the nest up. I put it upwards. I tried to see if it could stretch. They're supposed to stretch, and it doesn't stretch. Why she built it where it doesn't stretch, I don't know. But it doesn't stretch. But I did get the baby in there because that is still too small. That should stretch with them. So she kind of built it with leaves and paper. And cobwebs you can see what she's built it with so I put the baby back in and I pushed the uh, whoops I pushed the nest back up and then I wrapped it with tulle and then I told Gary go see if you can get something a little more stable because there was nothing down here so he got some quarter inch wire and that's quarter inch wire there Let's see if I can focus in right there he bent it you can see it's bent and it's wrapped around see it's wrapped around and then he just took wire and he bent this up so it holds the nest now up because the nest was tilted down. It was literally falling down. And that, that will hold really good. That will hold for, for a long time. So that's what he did. And then he put the tool back. I stayed down here when I put the tool for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I finally went up on top there and I looked down. I've got videos of it. And she finally went back to the nest and she fed the baby. So the tool was okay, messing with the nest was okay, 
and she's around here somewhere but she has been taking care of the babies so that was what i was going to do now live is let you see the babies but they're doing good and we'll do the full story we'll see what happens hopefully nothing finds them but there they are isn't that cute they're so tiny i don't want to make them no they're not hungry if they were hungry, they would open their mouths, but they also probably have their eyes open. And so even though their eyes may be shut, they know what's going on. They know I'm not their mom. A week ago, when I found the baby on the 6th, I should say, the mouth was open. Now they're more, if they're 10 days old, they're aware of their surroundings. They know I'm talking. They know I'm not mom. They know I'm something that's strange. So all in all, I think they're doing really good. And I'll have to figure out some way to bring a laptop down here, wire it in from the top, and then I'll have to wire a camera, plug a camera in, and then I should be able to go live in Gary's garden so you can see more of what's going on. They've got a lot of food here, lots of flowers he's got. The cannas, he's the yellow and the red, they love feeding on that. Of course, they can go up to the top. You can't see from there, but I've got my hummingbird feeders there. He has no hummingbird feeders in here. And then the insects they can collect for their baby. So that's it. That's what I was trying to go live if you were looking. And I'm going to try to get a whole thing on this in detail because I've got a lot of footage. But enjoy this and see that all is good, even though the baby fell to the ground. Now, if he falls, hopefully he gets in that bucket. And if he does fall, we'll be looking for him. But I think now the nest should stay nice and sturdy the way it's set up now. Because now it can't. See, it, it physically cannot go down. It's This is strong. This is, oh, this is very, very strong. There they are. Aren't they cute? So they've got another good week in here. In about a week, they can fly off and then just hang around in the bananas, hang around anywhere, and then mom will feed them once they branch out. But they've got to stay there for one more week, and that's them. So I wanted to share that with you today on live feed, but it didn't work. And I'm sure this is better, you can see it better. Okay, with that, camera, my camera doesn't even want to focus. Hope you got a kick out of this, because this has been something, I've never seen it nest this much in the open and this low. I have seen them low. I've seen them in the avocado trees, real low, almost, you know, waist high. But this is so open. I mean, the nest isn't even covered. Even when she built it, it's barely covered. But anyways, that's, that's the nest. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll get more on this. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.